told the players that um, there's no victory in losing, but I was super, super proud of the way that they competed. Just coming off our, our past three games, I don't think that we were intense enough. I don't think that we were focused um, scout defense-wise enough, but they did a tremendous job of playing personnel, of making tough plays, of being focused as we made in-game adjustments. Um, you know, Middle Tennessee, obviously, they're, they're a really good team. They're in the top of the conference, and they just they made plays and they made shots towards the end. And they were they were locked into what was going on. Um, KP was locked in because she was mainly the one that was um, either starting off or, or going to go double. Kayla made a great play at the end of the game to come from behind and get a steal. Um, and you know, I just again, I'm I'm proud of the way they competed, and we get a couple more breaks maybe on some of our drives through the rim and, and things like that. Um, and, and we get a win tonight. Shot selection was, was great. Um, and again, when we made in-game adjustments to kind of put them in some different spots, um, you know, they made plays and, and we knocked down shots. We shared the ball. Um, we were positive in our assist to turnover ratio, which always helps. Um, but a couple breaks here and there, and you know, it's it's in our favor. The substitution patterns I thought were I thought were good. You know, people that were in there, they gave us good minutes. Um, you know, when it just gets down to the end, um, kind of going with who's having some success and who's making plays and stuff like that. Um, but again, I thought the substitution patterns were good. Callie got into some foul trouble, so we had to kind of take her out and and uh, switch her and Walker back and forth. Um, but but I thought that they, they did a good job with that of responding, coming off the bench, and then responding when they were in the game.